What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a new release film that just came out on Netflix and it's from director Todd Haynes who is a director that I've seen some of his work who has a really unique filmography. If you take a look at the films that he has created they're kind of all over the place and my most recent review that I did of a Todd Haynes film in the Criterion Corner series that I do on my channel I talked about his film Safe and I really loved that movie a lot. I thought it had a really interesting tone. It was very dreamlike and a and the way that it shot. The subject matter of the film was really interesting and very thought-provoking, and the film stuck with me for a really long time after I watched it. I was really impressed with the filmmaking, and so going into this film, knowing a little bit about him as a filmmaker, I didn't watch a trailer for this before I watched the movie. I kind of just went in blind. I'm very excited to tell you about this movie today, and the film I'm going to be discussing is May, December. May, December is directed by Todd Haynes. 20 years after their notorious tabloid romance gripped the nation. A married couple buckles under the pressure when an actress arrives to do research for a film about their past. So, very excited to check this movie out because I've enjoyed Todd Haynes' work in the past, and I really like Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman. They're both incredibly talented actresses, and I thought this film was excellent. It really took me by surprise, and really what hooked me to this film was its very unique tone. People might say that I'm crazy for this, but there's elements of this that reminded me of Twin Peaks a little bit, where the film feels like it has this underlying threat and there's just this unsettling, uneasy feeling throughout the entire film. And there are moments that almost feel like a mockery of soap operas. And there's a lot of dark humor in this, but there's also a lot of really intense, poignant, dramatic moments. And I talk about balancing tonality in my reviews a lot. And Todd Haynes clearly took on a lot with this movie because the dark humor, it's often delivered in a way that feels like the actor is delivering something very seriously, but it comes across as comedic. And I think with a film that the subject matter of this movie is relatively heavy, I think having that comedic levity in moments makes the movie work so well and I'm excited to discuss it at length with you today. So at the beginning of the film we're introduced to Elizabeth played by Natalie Portman who is an actress that is researching a new role and she's going to visit this family where husband and wife couple Gracie played by Julianne Moore and Joe played by Charles Melton live with their kids in this pretty luxurious home. She is a baker that works from home, does these large orders for people in the community, and Joe worked at a hospital doing x-rays. And Elizabeth is going to research Gracie to play her for a film, and what we find out is Gracie and Joe are married, but the way that their relationship started is the two of them worked at a pet store, I think it was over 20 years ago, and Joe was 13 years old when their affair started. Gracie was married beforehand, and it was all in the tabloids, and she ended up going to jail for it. And the two of them, after getting out of jail, she was pregnant while she was in jail. They have a family together now. And so the film is this actress studying this role for a movie, and we get a little bit about her character and into her psyche, and then we're studying these people who essentially from the outside looking in from us as an audience member, this older woman groomed this child and they've been in a relationship for a very long time. And we're trying to examine, is their relationship actually real? Did she just coerce him into it and make him feel bad to where he's sticking around so that she doesn't face a blowback later on? And so it's a really interesting dynamic that is explored throughout the movie. And that's what I really like is the way Todd Haynes is exploring this through the filmmaking, there's not necessarily a concrete answer as to how to feel about these people, but there's enough information given to you that it, it's kind of indicative of our society now. I feel like the Me Too movement and the things that we've lived through over the past several years where women who have been abused and treated poorly over the years, whether that be by men in positions of power or what have you, uh, it's been really interesting to watch our culture and how you know horrible people have been called out for their actions and doing things wrong. And oftentimes because of those things, society as a whole uh, kind of takes to the stage and judges the these people despite not necessarily knowing all the nuances of the situation and I think what's interesting about it is Todd Haynes is taking you into this fictional world where this situation has happened and it's kind of saying 
I'm going to give you little snippets of information, but you're still going to have to be judgy about it as you're watching the movie. And I think having that reflective parallel to culture was really fascinating. And, and what I like about this is how it, it's never like in one specific moment any character is really horrible or that they're really great. There's so much push and pull in their personalities. And I think a lot of that is due to the phenomenal performances in this film. Julianne Moore is just one of the best to ever do it. Anytime she's in a movie, I'm so impressed with her commitment to the role. Even like the vocal delivery that she has in this film, she really is just living and breathing this character. And what I love about her character is obviously, you know, they paint her when she they first arrive. She's like, oh, you know, she went through this thing where, you know, from the outside looking in, she groomed this child into a relationship but they play her as this like soft housewife who is baking these goods and at the beginning of the movie she does all of these things to her husband where they're like these subtle manipulations and guilt trips to where it's like okay i could see her doing this to him when he was a kid to get him to the point where he feels like he needs to stick around in this relationship. And it's so interesting to watch those little subtle manipulations through the film. Natalie Portman's performance is fantastic because she comes in as this actress. And at the beginning of the film, you're trying to discern whether or not she cares about them as people. But realistically throughout the film, it's kind of just like, I don't really care about these people. I just care about this role and I want to study this as like, this isn't a human being's experience. This is just a, a role that I'm studying for. And I think that detachment was really interesting to see a person who's just kind of like, yeah, I'll get close to these people and manipulate them in ways that work for my benefit, but I don't really see them as human beings. And I thought that portrayal of her character was really fascinating. The standout performance in this movie for me was Charles Melton who plays Joe, because obviously he's going to have a, a, a wide array of emotions that he's gonna have to convey. This was, obviously he's an adult in this film, but he was you know taken advantage of as a young child uh, from what we learn early in the film and, and kind of coerced into this relationship. And we're trying to figure out throughout the movie, does he really want to be in this relationship? Was he forced by Julianne Moore's character to be in this relationship? And I think that all there's a lot of nuance in his performance. And I think his vocal delivery and kind of his timidness, even around his own children, you just really see this person who their adolescence was kind of stripped away from them and they were forced into adulthood at a very young age. And I think he brilliantly portrays this character and gives this performance to where this would be a front runner for supporting actor for me for the Oscars. One of the best supporting performances I've seen of the entire year, just absolutely transformative in this role. And there's so many standout scenes from his character in this movie. And being an actor, going into a film where your two leads are Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman, two actresses who have given amazing performances through their entire career, to give a, a performance that even overshadows theirs at times really took me by surprise. And this film is just really unique. And that's the word I'll use. Unique is what I'll use for it because that tone, like I said, there, there's really heavy dramatic moments, but there's also really comedic elements that are very dark in their delivery. And I really love the overblown kind of like soap opera score that accompanies the moments. I think especially in some of the more humorous moments that accompanied score really elevates that feeling which is what brings me back to Twin Peaks because when David Lynch and Mark Frost talk about the creation of Twin Peaks a lot of that show was a spoof on soap operas and and kind of making fun of daytime soap operas and there was a lot of that reflected in this movie and that I felt through certain scenes in particular and this movie just really took me by surprise I feel like it's a film that I'm gonna grow to appreciate more every time I watch it and it's streaming on Netflix right now. If you haven't got the chance to check it out yet, I would 100% recommend it. It is one of the better films of the year. So have you seen May, December? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was great. It's a performance driven drama with some dark comedy laden throughout that is really worth your time watching. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great great rest of your day.